Hello and welcome to today's video. Now, today we're doing a another match review here. Uh, now, um, I do want to sort of discuss real quick before we jump into it. Um, I definitely was deciding whether or not I wanted to make this video uh, after the recent things that Blizzard has done to ban a Hearthstone player from playing for a year and taking his prize money and things just because he says he supports Hong Kong, things like that. Uh, I definitely wasn't really feeling the making a video of Blizzard vibe, especially on a map of Blizzard World. Um, so just keep that in mind. It really wasn't something that I was a hundred percent in on doing because Blizzard kind of acting a meme. <laughs> but uh, this is a good map played by myself and the meme, uh, who you'll be seeing myself on the Reaper and him on the May. And I do want you guys to sort of be able to see that and it is fun to analyze these matches so just keep that in mind um, my feelings towards Blizzard at the moment and uh, at the moment I'm considering doing a whole video sort of on that topic that's when I really decide the proper way to go about it uh, with any type of video like that that could be controversial you want to pick the right way to go about it so I'm really deciding that as we speak so you might see that out actually before this video is out if I do uh, figure out how I'm going to do that, but we'll see. Either way, enough with the, I guess, political type subjects. And uh, let's jump into this great match here that Lemim and I played on Blizzard World a couple days ago. As you see, I'll be playing the Reaper, he'll be playing the May. We are on attack. So first I'm going to use the uh, fast forward feature here to sort of zoom ahead. Alright, so, I'm going to keep this view for now, just sort of show you guys what we're doing from this angle. Always a good perspective to have on a map like this. Uh, now you see I'm coming in from the top part in there, I'm with the Reinhardt and the D.Va as well. Now, I'm going to use my ability to see go down here to the bottom, I wish I could use like a little point thing, you know, they can like draw on the screens and different sports, I wish I could do that on this, but you see down there. I'm going to wraith up onto the platform on the bottom right here, bottom left, bottom middle, whatever. I'm using my wraith form up there. Nobody knows I'm up there. The whole team sort of focused on the fire coming in from the D.Va, Lameem on the May, and the Zenyatta uh, coming in. So I'm going to sort of wraith form around the back here, do things like that. While the rest of the team's fighting, our Reinhardt gets killed in the process. Now I'm going to just look and be like, oh yeah, they're all sort of, I can see their foot pushed pretty far forward. Uh, we did lose our Zenyatta in the process of this, but I can see that they're pushed pretty far forward. So I'm just going to step on the point, kind of do what I got to do here, hold it down for a couple seconds, and as their Hanzo, Zenyatta, Mercy, and Symmetra also to pull back, I'm staying far enough away, just because I have a feeling that most of the team was down on that side, they're all going to sort of pull in from the bottom here. Uh, so I'm going to hold here. And actually, if they jump on the point, they're going to contest it, but they're not. They're sort of fighting me back here. Hans was trying to load up his arrows, then you have to do some shots. And I was able to contest before the Symmetra got on, or take before the Symmetra got on. Did take enough damage from the Hanzo to get killed by the Symmetra here. In a second, I believe. No, I got out. I actually got out from that. I got out. But we got 33%, so it's pretty beneficial. Go up top, and now... Now they're sort of more worried about me uh, because they're pushed back on the point, which is good. Because you pull them back to the point, get some free percentage, really helps the rest of the team, which is still fighting around the choke. So the meme down there, they're fighting with the D.Va. Uh, that's going to be, you know, fight if he wins it. It's pretty good. I don't really remember. It's a couple days ago we did this match. But... He's trying to freeze her up there. He got the freeze off. But he ended up dying, and I ducked up the Zenyatta, which was kind of annoying. 
Mercy got killed by the D.Va. And that's kind of where we're at. With a sort of little bit of a pushback, Lumen and I come back from spawn right now. Team sort of fighting here. As you see, the D.Va getting the shots in from the side here. Doing a little bit of damage on the Orisa as the rest of the team sort of focuses down the barrier. Zenyatta also doing some work to the Symmetra. If he can complete that kill, that would be very helpful, but I don't think he did. Uh, looks like the Symmetra is going to get away with that. Hook comes in from the Roadhog and gets the kill onto the Orisa. A stun onto the D.Va mech from something. Oh, she just lost her mech and said stun. Uh, I got killed there by... Oh, the Storm Arrow. I had full health. I was walking back. This dude has loaded up his Storm Arrow. Or... Yeah, they're Storm Arrows, not Scatter Arrows. Storm Arrows loaded up headshot me from that distance and I died. Yeah, I'm pretty shook by that. Um... Armour killed the Symmetra. D.Va got the mech back from their team. Their Zen pop is all kind of wasted a little bit there. Our deal got the kill on the Mercy. Dragon comes in from Hanzo, gets Lameem. Really no way to avoid that for him. Ultimate comes in from our Zen. Hook onto their Diva from our Roadhog, losing her mech. Uh, or destroying her mech, beneficial to our team. Uh, a little bit of a fight is going on here on the point. Minute 50 left on the clock. Whole Hog comes in from the Roadhog, pushes them back a little bit. Diva drops her alt in. Hanzo kills the Moira, and our Diva kills the Mercy. But they're still in control of this point, so your boy up top here. Trying to do some work down onto the Diva. Get rid of her mech. Symmetra gets killed by the Diva. Lemim does in his alt, and the Symmetra ends up dying to that as well. Get rid of the last turret over there in the building. I uh, noticed that was there, and I destroyed it. Get rid of the Arisa before she come in. Mercy gonna focus on resing her, dies well. Lameem frees and moves Zenyatta down there. And that will be that. We have about 3 minutes 38, I think, when we took it. So, or added on the clock. Couple of minutes there. Uh, I'm pushing the payload right now to sort of let our team do the work on the choke. We're gonna sort of rotate through the map this way uh, with our camera and everything. Again, I'm letting the team sort of go forward. I'll push the payload. Might as well. Uh, once the team gets near, though, that thing starts moving. Let me up there on the high ground. There was a did get killed, though. Should note that. Uh, Hook comes in onto the D.Va. She will alt. Really wasted. Everybody's sort of able to get out of it. They brought a Bastion now. They want to be some... Uh, you kind of want to be a hoe like San Francisco Shock. You can bring a... Bastion. But I'm sure win. Kill comes in onto the Bastion though. So, you know, who cares? And honestly, the Mercy, Diva, Arissa, all of this got sort of ran through. Pretty quick point take. Uh, got a lot of ults loaded up for our team as well. We're going to sit on a five going to this final section here. Um, as you can see, the one without it is the Diva. She's out of mech right now. So she will see if she gets her ult in a minute. Hook comes in the Hanzo from the Roadhog. Gonna go down here. Gonna get in the building, see what's going on here. Freeze onto the Diva from Lamine. He did get killed by that, but we're gonna ultimately be able to sort of clean this up. Diva something struck comes in with sort of the Diva mech bash and also dies to the Roadhog. Hanzo all comes in. Again, no problem there. So I was sort of worried about this Orisa over here for sure. I was gonna try to hide out in the room there. Bastion is gonna die there. We will sort of push our way through this team. Wraith form. For me there, something strike gonna get nobody from their team on that one. Or their team something strike gonna get nobody from our team. Uh, I died there and so did the uh, Zenyatta. So we're sort of looking at a fight here. It is going their way. Let me even come in with the freeze here. Uh, gonna get the Diva pretty low. Bastion all comes in. Gets rid of the Roadhog. 
Well, I almost deserved the red hog. Now, this is a key moment here in winning the match. So we're going to actually move over here. Now, you see, on my respawn, I sort of walk around the extra ledge there. And they're all worried about fighting the team at the payload. Again, the Junkrat is dead from their team, and so is the Orisa. And their Mercy is sort of coming in from spawn. So it's these three, Bastion, Diva, who is still in her mech at this moment, and the Zenyatta. Now your boy's going to show up and start ulting. Destroy the Diva. Oh, wait, I'm looking at the wrong Diva. I'm looking at their team. Yeah, they didn't have a mech. I keep thinking red is the opposing team. So they must have not had it then, because I went and just destroyed the D.Va. Destroyed the D.Va, destroyed the Zenyatta, and destroyed the Bastion as he was just done with his ult. I was going to kill all three of them, leaving the Arissa, Junkrat, and Mercy to sort of respawn. Well, they have to go there. So it's a three-on-six fight, or three-on-five, because we don't have the Roadhog. Then... Right, is the Mercy is going to be the only one I think that's going to get close. Junkrat, kind of slow to get back, Arissa as well. Uh, so the Diva is going to go over along with me shooting at the Mercy. And Lameem also getting in there as well. We just block the Junkrat as well. Quick end to that. Two minutes, seven on the clock. A good use of the ultimate and the map around to just, you know, sort of stop any potential attack or uh, potential defense that they could have made. Now, is there a way that I can... I don't know. So now we are on the defense. Give the other team time, or give everybody time to pick their characters, so we sort of go back. Gonna you know, assume the same viewpoint here. Or as similar of a view as we can get. Alright, so. Again, Lameem on the May, myself on the Reaper. Uh, we're going to sort of see how this all plays out. They're going to bring a Bastion Arisa now. At this moment, I'm pretty hyped up from that kill and the finish of that match. So, you know, I think, all right, let's destroy everybody. Let's get a quick ult. Got the Arisa dead already from their team. Pretty good start. Get to get rid of that Bastion, which we do. Mercy can try to go in for that res. Uh, which she will, but I'm going to prevent anything else from happening. Your boy's going to get out. Uh, and the Zenyatta got killed by our Orisa. I go in and get the Bastion. I will die to their Orisa, but... I'm going to kill the guy in that time. Was worth it. 3.06 left on the clock for them to make an attack. We already got about a minute off the clock, so that's good. If you could have been off the clock without ever touching the point in a four minute fight, fourth of the way through with no touch, that's pretty good. Uh, they're sort of working that Bastion forward along with the Arisa as well, so sort of, you know, our team will give up ground, but you don't really have to worry about that uh, in this situation. You're gonna rotate around, and the Roadhog rotates behind, and working over to the Mercy, who will get killed, and then I get the Zenyatta in the end. Our Mercy will pop all. Hook comes in from a Roadhog onto the Orisa. We're all just going to charge the Bash and the Orisa, and ultimately that push is stopped. But again, it was a sort of slow rotate as they go up the left side, force us back. But then the Roadhog from our team sort of goes around, disrupts that a little bit. And, you know, Lameem and I were over here in the corner on the stairs, taking out the Junkrat. And you lose two people. You know, your disadvantage, especially if you lose on Mercy. Mercy is such a key piece, of course. So that took about another 45 seconds off the clock for them. They're down to about 210 now. 
and are going to be approaching the halfway point through their attack run. Liam's going to throw that all in the back line a little bit off overall. Not really going to be used that much, but it will slow down the uh, Diva and the Nyata a little bit. Mercy, Mercy, Moira's going to throw her ult in there, get rid of the Bash, and, and the Arisa fell from their team as well. So again, pretty beneficial fight there for our team overall. The Arisa getting rid of the Junkrat. The Diva getting demecked and ultimately will get killed there. So again, decent fight through. I'll throw my ult in, get rid of the Mercy. And the Arisa Bastion will kill me, but Lemmy will get the Bastion. So again, overall pretty good. I didn't know they had a Phara. Who really was the one that shot down and got me. More than the Bastion. Um, oh, I got Rez and then the Phara got me. Okay. I got Rez. I was able to get rid of the... Zenyatta, but then I forgot that they had a, or I didn't know they had a Mercy, or Far. God damn. There's like 31 characters. So. Push in from the Bastion with his ult. And a kill onto a Roadhog from the Far. Gonna kind of do some stuff here. Devo from their team comes in. Get rid of our Moira, so it's looking bad for us without the Arisa as well. We only have three people on the point. Lameem, myself, and the Mercy. Lameem gets the kill, and myself, both of us, I guess, on the Bastion. I get to kill another Mercy. Rez comes in on two our Moira. Lameem's gonna pop us all to here. We're gonna be able to get rid of the D.Va. Now it's the whole team on the Arisa. The respawns came in, and then it's just the far who gets killed before she can even fly up into the air. So somehow, Lameem, myself, and the Mercy were able to hold them off while the rest of our respawns came in. And that was it. There's Zenyatta gave up. You can see he's like, nah, I'm good. So that's that. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And we'll see you guys in the next one.